Let's talk about climate change. Oh, it's been pretty crazy. It's hot and then it's cold and then it's hot again and then it's cold again and it rains and it snows. We're going to talk to scientists. Climate change is a given. It's a pretty small effect. We're going to talk to normal Joes. Well, it's God's work. Well, I mean, you just got to live with it. I don't think we have to fully understand it. We're going to try to get to the bottom of what exactly is going on with climate change. We came here to the top of the world, Barrow, Alaska, more than 300 miles north of the Arctic Circle, 71 degrees north latitude. This is where they collect data relating to the science of climate change. And this is where we begin our quest for answers. Exploring Climate Change, a WRAL documentary. The Barrow Observatory, the most northern outpost in the government's global monitoring division. It's well below zero as Ross Bergener heads out into the Alaska morning. He's one of two full-time technicians here who take readings and maintain equipment. Matt Martinson also works in this remote research site. He made the move up here from the lower 48 states five years ago. So what sort of data are you collecting up here? Um, we're, we're taking long-term averages of everything in the atmosphere. Um, greenhouse gases, ozone depleting gases, and just a lot of general data that is um, important for climate science. Climate research begins right here. Zero. With raw data gathered fresh from the atmosphere. Why here? Why is this such a good location? For the Arctic, we're in a good spot because if we look at our tower and, and everything over this direction, our general wind direction is coming right over our observatory right here. And there's nothing in between us and the Arctic Ocean. So you just get these nice clean air samples off the Arctic Ocean that don't have local sources of pollution and are really well mixed air that are representative of uh, l larger averages. The air sampling sensors work around the clock. And the gear is so sensitive, it records the anomaly just from their breath when they climb the tower for maintenance. And you go to, to painstaking measures to make sure that these observations are the best they can be, and, and even to the point of holding your breath, right? Yeah, when you, go out to, when you go out to do an air sample, you basically do the opposite of swimming, is you, um, you hold your breath or breathe in the whole time you're working with an air sample so you don't contaminate it with your own, with your own breath. Barrow, Alaska bills itself as the top of the world, 1,200 miles from the North Pole. A population of about 4,700, more than half of those are native Inupiaq. Search online for Barrow and you will get the same headline over and over. Barrow is ground zero for climate change. What sort of changes have you noticed in the weather here uh, since you were a young, young man? Well, the ice has receded you know, receding every year, and it's not freezing as much as it used to during towards winter. The Chukchi Sea, it should be frozen solid this time of year. It's an important part of the area's proud whaling heritage. Glenn Apollock is an artist. He honors those who hunt by creating these whaling ship replicas from the baleen of harvested bowheads. Those whales are traditionally hunted from the edge of the sea ice. So it's completely open water in the sea? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and it was not like that when you were small? No, it used to be frozen most of the time. I have uh, been here my entire life. Susan Hope grew up in Barrow. You know, I have seen change. Um, I can remember um, in October walking through six feet of snow. And now I'm not seeing that much snow at that time of year. She also doesn't see a direct connection between human behavior and climate change. What disturbs me is when um, we have these patterns that we're experiencing and we all jump on the bandwagon that it's global warming. We're repetitively seeing very high October temperatures that if you looked at the long-term record for that, it, it's, it's amazing to see the difference. A long-term record is important. Once a month, Martinson grabs a metal case and treks out beyond the buildings to get a unique air sample. This one is used to double check and verify the daily readings measured on site. The air is sealed up in a special tank and shipped off for examination. 
All that data from Barrow comes here to the Earth Systems Research Laboratory in Boulder, Colorado, where that data is analyzed and shared with the rest of the research community.